joining us is the sophomore from Aberdeen Central, Peyton Burkhardt, and congratulations. It's a nice one, I'm sure, to, to get back out on the floor after the ankle and all, but uh, it's nice to get back out after Christmas, get into Summit League play, and, and feel like there's... Um, uh, I guess a rhythm back to the season, right? Definitely. We're facing a lot of adversity. Uh, we had some girls that were sick, so um, we knew we were all just going to have to come out here. A lot of people were going to have to play volleyball minutes, and I think we did just that, so very proud. I think you can say safely you got quality minutes from mm -hmm. the bench where yep. um, if there has been injury and sickness that has done anything for the team, as Coach AJ has talked often about, it's certainly made people step up yep. and maybe get out of some comfort zone and put in some extra work and play some extra time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, th these few days before we, we came down to Omaha, um, we just talked a lot about people are going to have to step up. Um, everyone's roles are going to change, but we're just going to go have to go out and play strong. doesn't matter what adversity we're facing. We're just going to have to come out and get a dub. 21 points in a uh, contest, too, that, again, started off like Omaha was. Mm -hmm. uh, they were very mm -hmm. confident coming mm -hmm. in, had an 11-9 lead. And as I mentioned, you go on a 35 to 11 run mm -hmm. to close out the last 14 and a half minutes of the first half. It seemed like it wasn't just the good shooting of the first yep. half of 56%, but I thought it also started off defending and rebounding. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say that our defense really um, started us off strong. If we have good defense, then that leads into our offense, getting good transition points, and then just kind of making them have to figure out who, who they're going to guard, shaking it up a little bit. We had a lot of mismatches inside and when they were switching on stuff, so that we really took that to our advantage, and I think our defense really just uh, gave us that momentum throughout the whole game. Also in the first half, I think you got your hand in on a couple of drives, too, mm -hmm. where you forced a yeah. jump ball, yeah. too. Is that something that you've gotten more and more confidence in doing? Yeah, just being able to help off of my own girl um, and then recovering back is just something we've all been working on, so I think a lot of us did a really good job of that from your time at Aberdeen Central learning about mm -hmm. defense yeah. there at the high school level of Coach Dawn to now coming to AJ and his system here. How much better have you become as a defender? Mm -hmm. Defense has always been like a huge thing with my high school coach and now with AJ. So um, just being able to like heighten my level of defense and be able to just become a better all-around player has been like a huge thing for me here. So Great start to the Summit League season, a win this afternoon against Omaha, and now it'll be Oral Roberts yep. and uh, Western coming yep. into town next week, which yep. will be fun to be back home. Yeah, it'll be nice. Well, <laughs> thanks, Peyton. We Thank appreciate you. your time. Then what a victory for a lot of different reasons. There were, there were wins in this one for South Dakota State, and I'll just start with uh, Peyton and also continue with the likes of Riley and how she performed feeling sick, and Megan Boltzmann with some key minutes in the post for you. You know, if people are wondering back home, you know, we've, we've had a little more adversity. Callie obviously won't be back, so that yeah. changed our rotation. Sidney Stapleton didn't make the trip. We had about four or five players diagnosed with influenza B, not just not feeling well, so that was tough. We've had some staff people that are dealing with it. So uh, we were a little shorter this game than, you know, we had thought, and we didn't have, you know, Riley practice yesterday. That's the first time she'd done anything since our Green Bay game, just not feeling well. Um, we've had some other players, Tagan and Lindsay, of – diagnosed with early and just kind of have recovered and and so as our third and fourth corner went on we looked like we had influenza we just <laughs> ran out of gas yeah. and but to the positive of it just really proud of how our team played I mean they overcame some as you mentioned changes to our lineup with Callie's injury um, the other things and we played really well in that first half Riley showed a lot of just guts and toughness as a senior and point guard uh, made a lot of plays for us after you know overcoming something that's pretty difficult to to go through. Tagan and and Lindsay aren't anywhere close to 100 percent and still played really hard for us. Defended well and and did a lot of good things. So uh, I thought Tylee, uh, you know, we had it was kind of the point where we've had so many starting lineups we had to kind of choose which direction we wanted to go. We had six people that were starting when Peyton came back and so someone's got to come out. We just thought that would give Tylee a chance to maybe jumpstart her year in a different role and perspective and she played great in that role. So yeah, a lot of people had their own personal you know, things they had to overcome, but the team really uh, competed well and, and did exactly what we had to. Started really well, carried some momentum the rest of the game. Omaha started 3-3 three three from beyond the arc, got that 11-9 lead, but in the last 14 and a half minutes of the first half, you go on a 35-11 to 11 run, you really answered the bell. Yeah, we defended well. Uh, we really did. You know, Tylee off the bench had some tough, you know, their tougher matchups, and I thought she took care of what she needed to. Lindsay did a nice job on, on their perimeter players, too. Uh, you know, they're athletic um, in some positions more than you would think, and I thought our post did a nice job inside against their size, but then also their quickness at times. 
And then getting Peyton back, just another dimension offensively. You know, we're able to go inside, and teams have to think about how they want to guard her. And, uh, you know, really her first time back in a couple of games, she didn't look rusty at all. She might need to get her cardio and conditioning back a little, but in terms of being able to finish and make plays, she did a really nice job around the basket. And then Riley made threes and, and really stretched the defense there in that first half for us. Four turnovers in the first half, three really uh, with a lot of the starters in that second half. You end with ten. So you talk about having a rebounding edge and also take care of the basketball and forcing them into more turnovers, too. That was key. Yeah, absolutely. We did rebound the ball well. We took care of it. I thought our shot selection was really good today. You know, it was a couple of those turnovers or travels back-to-back -back right in the first half, not really decision-making, but just maybe getting our feet set. And, and so we got really good shots, and I think the – Biggest thing that slowed us down in the second half is I, our team looked like they were just out of gas. And again, not in a bad way. They just put so much into trying to get ready for this game and overcoming some things. Be good to have a day off. You know, hopefully we're able to get home safely here. I know we're dealing with a lot of weather back in that direction. But, uh, you know, get home, have another day off, and, and start working towards next week, next week. But we've overcome a lot of adversity. That seems to be the theme. And we have to... Uh, you know, we have to look at that adversity not as a negative, but as a, a positive. You know, it's it's testing us in ways that maybe we haven't had to work on in the past and stretching us lineup-wise, stretching us with, with how hard we're willing to play through some of those tough moments. And, you know, if we can come out on the right side of that, that's going to continue to make us stronger. Well, you've said to your kids as they come in, you're going to be pushed into maybe some uncomfortable uh, places just because we want you to grow and certainly now in season that's happened I thought another big key is you're playing aggressive only one personal foul in that first half you only end up with with eight I thought defending and rebounding and the fact that you just didn't foul because you didn't have that deep a bench really was another big key yeah I think they shot one free throw on the day um, you know so that's good we kept them off the free throw line you're right we don't have the luxury to just go out there and, and foul people and we didn't talk a lot about it but our players know you know, it's amazing just how players adjust to that. And in the back of their mind, they're aware of those things. You know, they know they have to gut it out through some minutes. They know they have to stay on the floor, and it does change kind of their, their approach. So, um, you know, it's a really good group. They understand what we have to do right now to be successful, and they're doing it really well. Oral Roberts on Thursday, and then you'll have Western Illinois on, on Saturday. Oral coming in to play in Summit League has dropped their last four. Western Illinois was actually given South Dakota all it could handle in the first oh, two and almost three quarters today. Yeah, you know, Oral Roberts is a tough one to look at just because their schedule's been tough. Yeah. They've played as tough a schedule as anybody in our league, and they always do. So their record this time of year is always very misleading. You know, they're good. They're, they're athletic. They can shoot it. They play hard. They've always caused us problems with their ability to defend, you know, and we're going to have to handle that. Then Western's just that team that can be explosive. When they start making threes, they beat, they beat anybody, you know, and, and so for us defensively, how we handle that part of their game is always really important.